Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number one of my new Ragnarok season. I don't know what season this is. I believe it's season three. So I've seen a lot of people in the comments on YouTube have really enjoyed my Ragnarok season two videos. Um, so I decided to do a new series on Ragnarok. Um, I think my plan is to maybe take a little bit of a, a time away from the Crystal Isles Let's Play. Just because it doesn't seem to be doing as well as some of the other series I've done in the past. Plus, it might be better to wait until uh, the, the map gets really close to coming out officially. And then we'll continue with the season um, as it were. So, oops, we're going to just play some Ragnarok. So as you can see, I'm up to level 24. And I've gone and gotten... Just this structure built. I've got a campfire going so I can get some food. Um, but that's really about all I've done. I've got a little bit of metal because where we spawn in the jungle area here, um, which is in the top left of the map, as you can see, actually has quite a bit of metal. So we can really punch forward quickly if we want to um, and try and get uh, refined stuff so we can get our iron tools super quickly uh which may be the play i remember when i played this originally i spawned in like i can't think of what the area was called but it was awful it was palagornis everywhere and ichthyornis everywhere and it was just awful it was just death central um something bay i think it was called it was, it was v something that starts with v and then bay um, I can't think of ex the exact name of it, but it was it was horrible. It was a place you just don't want to spawn. By the way, guys and girls, what do you think... Um, it's only been implemented in the last couple days. So what do you think of the new logo that I've put together? I think it looks pretty sweet. It's something different. Um, the old logo was uh, pretty much just taken from Google and then... Uh, I changed the colors on it, whereas this one, I did all the curves and everything, like changed it all myself to make it unique and everything. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, refining Forge now. So we can dump that in there and put the metal in there and light that up. We need some more wood, which is nice. We can just get it from here off the ground. There we go. Super quick and easy wood gathering. Get a little bit more. Keep getting these magic mushrooms that I don't want because I don't want to accidentally eat one of them and end up tripping the fuck out. Okay, uh, probably too much. All right, should be plenty. Now I've got to set up to unlock the engrams automatically again. I haven't done that yet, but I will. I'll get that done. Uh, let's just get storage. Beautiful. And as as you remember, we're gonna go S plus. Um, for stuff like this, given the horrible issues we had on the Crystal Isle series, where the pick it up mod, uh, I like items disappeared and everything that was inside of them disappeared as well, which really sucks. So now we've got some nice storage facilities for this stuff. Uh, suppose we should probably try and get some clothing going. Uh, what do I go with though? I guess hide. Hide off the bat. Uh, hide. We need fiber as well in our inventory, which I just put away. Oops. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good, good. Got some more meats. Oops. Shouldn't have a problem with food now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. There we go. Now we look right. Now we look like us again. This is the way I was supposed to be, baby. Frogman, at your service. Uh, suppose we need to think about this. Uh, 
get that and try and grab some tranks. I don't know exactly what we're going to tame off the bat. We could just tame uh, Parasaur off the bat. You know, it'd be it'd be okay. It wouldn't be anything special. I keep picking up wood. Oh, these cannabis seeds. I forgot I've got the cannabis mod in, in here. I don't know what any of it does. I installed it ages ago. I guess they're like level 36 is the lowest unlock anything that relates to cannabis. Okay. Let's bump up our movement speed a little bit. You're glitching like hell. 55. Probably wouldn't be too hard to knock out, I don't think. Should be possible. God damn it, I keep getting these magic mushrooms. now. I could go straight to crossbow. Uh, I need to make... Let's, let's just think about everything we need to make here. Smithy is one. Um, need the metal on me. Make sure it's the S plus version. But do 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 I can get to everything. It's fine. So we could go crossbow straight off the bat. We need one more metal. Metal wood fire bar. Bang. Get ourselves that. Okay, we got that. Now yeah, I should have some stone. Let's get our mortar and pestle. And we'll put that, I don't know, next to the fire should do. Alright, now we need narcotic. Um Oh god damn I'm tempted to get that one. Even though I know it can cause problems. Just because it's so much faster. Fuck it, we'll do it. We'll just craft that one. Uh we'll get a bit of stone back. We're not gonna get all the stone we could. We'll just make that one. And pretty much, we don't really leave resources in the mortar and pestle often, so it won't be an issue if it goes bye-bye. Maybe I, I, I'm probably going to be more careful and not leave items in certain things because it just creates problems. Okay, now we chuck that in there. We're going to need some spoiled meat, which I don't really have any of. But we can make our meat spoiler. And get that going. That's something I wish Conan had, it was an S plus type of thing where I can click stuff like that. Um kinda hoping there's some dodos or something around here that I can just well. Sorry dude. Lady. Uh I mean, I guess that'll have to do for now. I really can't see much else. Okay. Nearly done. Wait for it. That's enough. Ah, so you need, alright. Okay. Got some more narco berries, I guess. I mean, 20 trank arrows would probably be enough for a parasaur. 
Yeah. Yeah, probably probably would be enough. Put the gamma up a little bit for you guys and girls. Ah, uh, but yeah, so we're going to bring Ragnarok back. I'm not really sure how long this season will go for or anything like that, but I know probably one of my most popular arc seasons was on Ragnarok, and people still seem to go back to it and enjoy it. And new people still seem to be finding it. So why not do a newer season on Ragnarok? And I don't I see if anything's changed. I don't know how good my memory will be for certain things. Like, we, we did a quite a lot in that series. Like, we had um, full tech armor by the end of it. The one thing I probably would like to do at some point on this series is get a goddamn squid tamed. Because it was something I couldn't manage to do on Ragnarok um, even with tech armor, I still couldn't fucking tame it. Uh, in here. Uh, do we have more? No, we don't. We want to. Oh, no, no, it goes. Uh, we can make 40. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go... Uh, arrows. I've really got to set it up so they're it's automatically learnt. Okay. Good. We've got 40 Tranky boys. It's night time, but obviously we'll just up the gamma so we can see. Um, I guess we'll just get a Parasaur for now. He can help us gather our berries to get more Tranks as well, so it's probably not a bad time to get off the bat. Stuttering and stuff, it's good. Uh, where the hell did they go? My chair's also lowered itself, so let me fix that. Uh, Parasaurs, hello! Where the hell did they go? Aha! You are level 95. Ooh. Yeah, I'll try. Run that way. Good. Good on you. No, not that way. I don't know what's over here. It could be bad stuff. Yeah, come back this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Pretty bad, didn't it? Like, like, not too bad, didn't miss a shot. I was meant to say pretty good, and for some reason I was thinking bad in the back of my mind, so I just said pretty bad. Huh. So I haven't really, I didn't really dip into the jungle very much when I played. I, I started at the bay, um, and my final base was in the desert, which I believe was in the bottom left corner of the map. So I haven't really been in this area of the map too much, um, ever. So. And if you guys and girls are curious and want to know what my rates are, my basic rates are I've got my XP at six times speed. Which may even be reduced a little bit because I feel like I'm still getting it pretty quickly. Um, although, to be honest, the level the level cap it's it's whatever. Um, yeah, it's six times XP, uh, ten times taming speed, and ten times harvest speed. If you guys and girls want to know, obviously this is for single player. If this is a multiplayer server. The rates would probably be lower, but it's not. So, and I also don't have. I don't have all day that I can spend recording videos like this one, so to speed stuff up, it, it, it makes more sense for me, really. Uh, we need to get a Parasaur saddle as well. What am I going to need for that? I don't know whether I'm going to have that amount of hide. I don't think I do. Uh, we could check. We try and kill a Parasaur. If I made just some plain Jane arrows, we could just kill them with a crossbow, which I might just do that. 
I might just uh, tame this one out. Am I going to need a name for this for this girl? Please, in the comments section, give me a name for Parasaur. I truly do appreciate it if you could do that for me. What do we get from these? Oh, we get thatch. Weird. Um, she's dopey as shit though, and she doesn't know how to follow apparently. Okay, she's figured it out. She's got it. She's got it. Uh, grab a little bit more metal while I'm here. I'm now encumbered. Ah, a bitch. I'm not encumbered anymore. I'm also going to need some water. Can you stop. Oh. A little bit of food. Alright, we'll be good. Ready. Get some weight off of us. We've got 60, so it's not enough. These bloody seeds, dude. I'll make a preserving bin soon and I'll put all the seeds in there. Okay. That lightened us up a lot. Now, arrows. Thirty... Thirty-one arrows is probably enough for us to be able to kill a parasol with. I would say. Depending on its level. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay with that. Um, we can always do this. Not that melee damage, but still. This one's running up the beach, which is going to make it a little bit more interesting, because, I don't, like I said, I don't know what's over here. I haven't really... Ah, oh, of course, I've missed one. I haven't really left this area since I spawned in. I'm stuck very close to where the base is at the moment. Bump my phone. Hide, hide, hide. Oh yeah, we're good now. I'll get you at some point, para uh, Pteranodon. Pteranodon, I will get you. Let's get back here and make this saddle more than enough hide to do it now. Hide is not an issue. Might even put some more meat in here to cook. A little bit more wood. Uh, you need more metal in you, I forgot. Ah, parasaur. Come here, girl. Put you on there. Ah, oh, Bob's your uncle. Ah, so this is... I forgot about the abilities the Parasaur has. I don't use them really at all. Um, I generally power level that fast that I try and go straight for something uh, more substantial. But... It seems to level this guy up a bit too, this girl up a bit, so that's good. I don't really know what's good for a parasol level wise. But if you want to level up real fast, watch this. Found Dodoville. Oh, 
I'll see how many levels we have in a sec. I'm just doing this. Should also be able to make a fair bit of narcotic as well now. We'll have plenty of narco berries. Alright, five levels. Got five levels out of that. Put a couple into weight. Uh, a little bit into health. Whew. Man, that... I don't want... I don't, I don't need that many cannabis seeds, dude. Like I said, I don't even remember what it does. So it's just so unnecessary. There's an explorer note up there, I think. I think that's what I just saw up there. Okay, I want to grab... I want that. I want... That. That one, that one. Tool tips are gone for some reason. That one, and that one. Um... Pretty much all the rest can go, and I'll put some of those back. Okay, now we need a preserving bin. Mm, we could get that one. Um, and we'll get spark powder. And then start making some of it. Yeah, flint. Okay. That's fine. Uh, do we do the little preserving bin? We'll do the little preserving bin. Ooh, they're so tiny. Like a little meat locker. Okay, those seeds can go in there just so I know where they are. Um, need to grab our 40 spark powder out. That'll keep it going for a little while as well. That'll be cool. How are you going with your metal? Not bad. Not bad at all. Now let's grab that, 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 that. Uh, grab those. I like to keep the seeds inside the preserving bin as well, just because it's just more... It's easier for me to figure out where everything is. Pretty much. There's a purple drop all the way over there. Do we go for a little bit of walks? Let's go for a little bit of a walk and see what's going on around us. I wish you were faster. There's no way to make you faster, no. I guess this is just your speed, unfortunately. You're just pretty slow and you get fuck all levels from movement speed. Yep, thanks. So I know I got a bionic parasaur, I think, is what's over here. Yeah, there's one there, and there's one over there. You look fucking cool, man. Tech parasol. Yes, there's a bridge down here and stuff too. It's a nice little area. Dodos and stuff down here. I haven't really ran into any predators as of yet. The only... Yeah, I... Yeah, the only thing I've killed that was a predator was a Dilo. And he came at me. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Like its own little island area. Can't really cross it unless we want to swim through the water. So that's kind of pointless to me. Let's go up here. Let's see... What's up here? Um, so I've also been making like some some random off-screen designs, like um, uh, offline screens for Twitch and stuff. Nothing for my brand specifically, but more just for ones that I can share to people to to others. So 
I might put those a video up on the channel at some point showing off some of those designs and stuff and with download links if people want to download them and modify them themselves um, they're all done in Affinity Designer so um, you want to modify them you'll need probably need Affinity Designer dude this is all rocky as hell <laughs> it looks so weird it just doesn't look right he like clips into the he like clips into it. His face is literally inside of it, dude. So sketched out trying to cross this. Go. Okay. Huh. This jungle area is very cool. I'm kind of disappointed I never really explored it before. Little big cliff faces up there. Looks sketch as. Like, there's got to be... So I know this is the beginner area, but there's got to be something kind of... De like, anything nasty in here. There's got to be something predatorial. Apart from Dilos. Doesn't really seem to be. I mean, I, I want to make sure we don't wait too long to move to a different area either. Because I don't want to be in this area the entire series. And if I get too many dinos tamed and we get too built up, I'll never fucking move. Because it will be too much work to move all the dinos. Although, we do have the dino pickup mod, I think it's installed. Maybe it's not. Pickup relic. It's exactly what we want. So then we'll be able to pick up our dinos and move them, so maybe not. Maybe it won't be an issue. Um, it's probably something I'm going to utilise on the uh, Crystal Isles uh, Let's Play as well more often for when I tame dinos that are so far away from the base, I'm just going to pick them up. Instead of trying to coax them all the way across the map, I'm just going to pick them up and put them in my pocket. I think, it, I think they actually... I can't remember. Some of the pickup mods in that they put them on your shoulder, and some of them they put them in your pocket. I think the one I have puts them in the pocket because it puts them in a like, little relic. Um, others you pick them up on your shoulder, and they become really, really tiny little, little uh, versions of themselves. Which looks, by the way, it looks fucking cool. No, no denying that. But um, it's just that's, it's just a bit odd. So there's a little bit of stuff around us. I mean. Unfortunately, like movement and looking in areas, like looking around the the map on this dino is awfully slow. So we need something probably better. Probably try and get a Tyranodon the next episode. You know, bowler it and just knock it. Um, and then we'll be able to get a lot more exploration done um, of the immediate area that we have around us. But let's just get... Um... Are they not iron? Fuck are they? Pick. Oh, they call it, just call it metal in this. Forgot. Forgot. Metal pick, metal hatchet. Maybe grab a get the sickle unlocked as well. Okay. Let's put that in there. Now we want to get one of those. And one of those. Um, and a pike. Do that there, that there, and that there. There we go. We've got a pretty, pretty good starting set for the first episode. I feel like that's it's pretty good. This is all just the seeds and shit now. Very, very good. Um, actually, now we can quickly look before we end of this episode. We can look at what this is. Cannabis oil. Refined oil from the seeds and buds of a cannabis plant can be taken raw to heal minor health or be combined with other resources to make powerful medicines. Can only be crafted at grinder. Oil extracted from the seeds and buds of a cannabis plant is to make strong potions. Interesting. Um. Cool. That'll be something we'll grow at some point, I'm sure. Get some. Uh, get. Get some weeds growing. I'll keep him around. He's gonna fly right out the hole. No, he's not. 
Hello. I need some chitin. I know where to get that now. Old turtle boy spawning around. Okay, this guy's just fucking tempting me, dude. What level are you? What level are you? 140! Okay. I think we have to, right? If we go in here quickly, we can get that, that. I'm trying to do this as quick as I possibly can. I think that'll be enough. Where'd he go? Okay, I may have grabbed more than I needed to, but that's okay. Right, we have to get this guy now because I was scared that if I logged out um, it came back in, something would happen with the spawning and he would disappear, and a 140 right off the bat is very, very, very good. Not really something you want to pass up if you don't, if you, if you can help it, so. Alright, well, that's very, very good. Alright, well, I'm going to wait for this guy to tame out. Goddamn Dilo started attacking me. And it's a good level. Oh my god, we're just going on a taming spree. That should be enough. 145 Dilo, dude. Let's go. Alright. Well, we're going to need a name for her, her, and him. So, put like what you want to name the, the, what Dino it is and what name you want it to be in the comments. And I'll name them in the next episode. I'll write them down so I don't forget to do it. Alright, I think... I think the Dilo's going to tame out very fast. Might even only be 20 food and it tames. No. What are we? We're in the Olaf jungle. It'd be 50 food, so it will tame me in like two seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. A little bit fast. Alright, so I'm going to name for this girl. Thank you very much, would be appreciated. Very, very cool. 217, it tamed out at. Um, the parasol went over here to attack a dilo before. And you just look at this dilo, dude. It looks like a fucking dragon. That's what I should have done. So it eats at 50 food. Uh, close. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Here we go. Now we've got a level 209 Pteranodon as well. Hell yes, brother. You need to calm down, dude. Maybe we could make... We can get the Pteranodon saddle. We're not going to fly it around. And then, oh, God damn it, I got dropped it on by accident. Pteranodon saddle. I don't have Kite or Keratin. And that is where you come in, my dude. Um, no, why don't we do that? We do this. We don't have a lot of arrows, but our dinos will kill the turtle for us. There you go. Get him. Kill it. Kill it, dude. I didn't whistle neutral, did you? No, attacking target. Attacking target. Hello. Okay, the second I got hit, I went crazy. Yeah, even the parasol's coming. No, don't! 
Really? Fuck you, dude. Um... Damn. Okay. Let's, it's gonna be a little annoying. We're gonna get... Gonna get caught, which means I think really the turtle's the only thing in this area that's gonna spawn that will give me that. And the dilo. Unless there's trilobites just under the water surface. And the water actually works on this map too, like with the mod, crystal clear mod, so that's good. Hmm. Don't see any trilobites, unfortunately. I see a singular, what the fuck, it's a stone that spawned in the water. I thought it was a fish, it's a stone. Oh yeah, that's right, this map has um like sand, bits of sand here you can grab. Just in case you need sand for whatever reason, you can get that as well. It's, I mean, that's good I guess, it's not, I don't need it, but yeah. Alright, well we'll make the saddle and stuff in the next episode. That's fine. So anyway, guys and girls, that's going to be the end of this episode. But if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Ragnarok in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace!